all right my dear students the topic that we have for today is accruals and prepayments now let us understand what does accruals and prepayments mean and how do we account for accruals and prepayment adjustments in the financial statements now first of all we need to understand what is an expense i'm sure all of you know what does an expense means if we are paying rent for our premises it is an expense if we are paying for insurance of our maybe building or motor vehicle it is also an expense or we are paying for salaries to our staff it is an expense as well okay so an expense can be an accrued or expense can be a prepaid expense now what does accrued expense means accrued expense my dear students means expense incurred but not paid yet this means we are we have taken the services from our vendors but we haven't paid uh, for that services yet okay if we have taken the service let's suppose we have uh, our staff has worked for us but we haven't paid our sub, uh, staff yet so therefore the payment that needs to be made in the future it is known as an accrued expense and an accrued expense is a current liability for the business why because we have taken the services but we are still we have to pay for that services that we have already received therefore it is a current liability and the opposite of that would be a prepaid expense these are expenses paid but not utilized this means that we have paid in advance we have paid the money but we haven't taken the service yet and the amount that has not been uh, basically uh, lost but the services will be received in the future so therefore it is a prepaid expense and a prepaid expense is a current asset for the business now let me explain you with the help of a quick example so i'm sure all of you students must have a mobile phone with you and the mobile phone are uh, there are uh, basically two types of connections in a mobile phone it can be a prepaid sim a prepaid connection or it can be a postpaid connection now what is the difference between the two a prepaid connection means we uh, load some balance in our mobile or maybe some credit we say a mobile credit uh, with the help of a uh, maybe mobile app or banking app or maybe are using some sort of scratch card okay so i have credited some balance in my mobile i have top up my mobile phone but i haven't used that balance yet okay if i have uh, credited maybe 100 dollars balance in our mobile phone but we haven't made any calls or haven't used any mobile data yet this means the money is basically not lost but we will be using the service in the future mobile phone in the future so therefore the balance that we have top up but we haven't used the balance yet this is known as a prepaid expense and it is a current asset okay because we have paid for the balance but we haven't used the service yet so the services will be used in the future therefore it is a current asset and the opposite of that would be a postpaid mobile connection now what is the postpaid connection uh, now most of the big guys basically use the postpaid connection so maybe your parents are using a postpaid connection so in a postpaid what we do uh, we use the telephone for the mobile phone for the entire month so it is just like a contract phone okay we have used the mobile phone and there are many uh, international services maybe in the us uh, there is a atmt service and there are some other carriers as well so we have used the telephone services for the entire month but we haven't paid for the service yet okay so the telephone bill that needs to be paid in the future it is an accrued expense for the business and an accrued expense is basically a current liability okay we have used the mobile phone for the entire month or maybe we have used the mobile data but we haven't paid for the service yet so therefore it is an accrued expense and it is a liability for the business okay it's a current liability now after understanding what does accrued or prepaid means let us see how uh, we can solve a question in an examination in an examination question what we need to do whenever uh, the this accruals and prepayment is being tested we need to make an expense account okay 
if we are making an expense account let us see how to prepare an expense account now my dear students there can be two types of expense it can be prepaid expense or it can be accrued expense now whenever we have an expense account in an examination we normally use a mnemonic for that and it is p double a p prepaid accrued accrued and prepaid p a a p okay we can pronounce it as pop account p a a and p so what does this mean this is a prepaid expense and this is also prepaid expense so why do we have two p's here one is an opening prepaid and one it is a closing prepaid okay so uh, we just studied that prepaid expense is an asset this means we have paid for maybe insurance uh, for our motor vehicle at the start of the year for the entire year but we haven't used this service yet we haven't claimed anything from the insurance company yet so therefore it is a prepaid expense it is expense that has been paid but not has been used or utilized so it is an asset for the business and as you may be aware that asset has a debit nature okay so whenever there is an opening asset it would be a debit and uh, if there is a closing asset it would be uh, come on the credit side now what is an accrued expense it is a liability therefore we have used the premises uh, and we haven't paid the rent or we have uh, taken the services from the staff but we haven't paid them the salaries so therefore it is an expense and if the expense is accrued therefore it is a liability as well okay so if the opening liability is on the coming on the credit side accrued then the closing liability must always come on the opposite side that is the debit side now in an examination we never write uh, a prepaid or accrued instead we are going to write uh, balance bd and balance cd now we have already studied previously that aed has a debit nature so aed uh, means asset expense and drawing has a debit nature and lic liability income and capital has a credit nature so if the asset is debit in nature therefore a prepaid expense is an asset so the balance brought down would come on the debit side if the balance bd opening balance is coming on the debit side then the balance cd must always come on the credit side okay and if the accrued expense is a liability if the opening liability is coming on the credit side then the closing liability must always come on the debit side now instead of writing p a a p in an examination question we would write balance bd and balance cd now there are two balance brought down okay and two balance carried down this is prepaid balance bd this is accrued balance bd this is again accrued balance cd p a a and this is closing balance cd so there can be all four adjustments or it can be three of them or it can be two or the minimum adjustment that we do have is one from all of these fours prepaid accrued now uh, as you we have already studied that an expense is debit in nature so whenever we are paying for insurance or salary or rent uh, so the expense account would be debited okay whenever an expense increase it is debited so the entry would be rent would be debited and the bank would be credited or if the examiner mentions that we are paid through a uh, cash so instead of writing bank we are going to write cash but if the examiner is silent we will always assume that the payment has been made through check okay using bank now an expense is always debit maybe it it, it is a rent or it is an electricity or an insurance or salary an expense is always debit in nature now what happens at the end of the year my dear students at the end of the year we are going to transfer this account to where an income statement okay so expense rent would be uh, it would usually be debited but at the end of the year rent would be credited and we need to transfer it to where to an income statement now let me put some dummy values in it uh, maybe at the start of the year we do not have any prepaid so mostly if there is a first year uh, for example uh, we have just uh, started the business the first year we do not have any prepaid okay so at, if at the end of the year we have a prepaid balance so the prepaid expense is an asset so the opening asset would come on the debit side and if it's not there we are going not going to write anything here at the end of the year it would be uh, a credit side it would come on the credit side now uh, if, if we have any accrued expense at the start of the year therefore it is a liability 
This means it was the expense of the previous year, which was not being paid in the last year, but would be paid in the current year. Okay, so it is a liability at the start of the year. A liability would come on the credit side. And if we have the ending liability as well, therefore we are going to write it on the debit side. So uh, let us suppose we have paid salary 6,000 in this year. So the entry would be salary or wages account would be debited and the bank and cash account would be credited. Now as an expense, as you can see, expense is debit in nature. Now what happens at the end of the year, we need to credit this account and we need to transfer it to where? We need to transfer it to an income statement, okay? So the entry would be rent account that is usually debit in nature. We need to credit this rent account and we need to transfer it to where? An income statement. Now, as you can see, which uh, is the greater side, the greater side is the debit side and the debit side, the, uh, the greater side would come on both of the sides. And if we deduct uh, 500 and 1000 from this total balance, we are left with the value that is 4800. So this is basically expense of this year and this needs to be transferred to where an income statement and after gross profit, we need to deduct expenses and this would be the rent or maybe electricity or whatever expense account it is. Now this balance carried down at the end of the year would becomes balance brought down at the start of next period. Now it, is, it was a prepaid expense. As you remember, prepaid accrued, we are going to write it with, with pencil because in an examination question, we are never going to write prepaid and accrued. Instead, we are going to write balance BD and balance CD. Okay. It was a prepaid, then accrued, then accrued, then prepaid. Now at the prepaid at the end of the year would again becomes prepaid at the start of next accounting period. Okay. So this was basically accrued expense. This was the liability and this balance CD would becomes balance brought down at the start of next accounting period. Uh, now let me just put the dates. For example, the year is 2020. Now the start of the year would be January 2020 and the end of the year would be December 2020 and after 2020 would becomes 2021. Okay, so this would be a balance BD at start of the next accounting period. And again, this is a balance brought down the first January and this balance carried down would be 31st December and this would becomes balance brought down at the start of next accounting period. So this is basically my dear students, how we make uh, expense account. Okay, it is uh, the mnemonic that we are using to make it POP account, P, A, A and P. And this would again becomes a POP account in the next accounting period. We would be starting with P again. This is a prepaid expense and this is basically an accrued expense. Now let us do few exercises in order to apply the concepts that we have just studied.